So hi guys and welcome to your deep stretch yoga class. I am making a class that I need definitely myself because now that things are starting to open up and now that we're all getting a little bit busier, we're busy, busy, busy and running around and moving and everything and we're forgetting to just take some time to stretch our body, feel good, make sure that we reset and just in general connect in with ourselves, connect with our breath and connect with our body. So when you're ready, let's start in the best position to begin child's pose. So take your knees as wide as you'd like. I like to take mine just to the outside of the mat and have my toes together to touch. And then walk your hands out in front of you and sit your hips onto your heels and drop your forehead. And this is where we're gonna start connecting with the breath. Start noticing how that breath feels as it comes in through the nose. And maybe for the first few, let it sigh out the mouth, allowing yourself to ground here in this moment. Connecting with this deep, long breath. And start to notice where you feel that breath in your body today. Maybe it's in the nose, in the chest, in between the ribs, or maybe you've got it all the way down to the belly. Wherever it is, just notice, see how it feels as it comes in and floats out of this area. And then start deepening the breath. So inhaling deeply through the nose, Allowing it to fill up your belly first and then allowing that breath to come into the rib cages and the midsection of the body and then fill up to the chest and in between the shoulder blades, filling up the entire torso like a balloon. And let's exhale, sighing out the mouth really slowly. Let's do that again this time, breathing in and out through the nose, so inhaling to the belly. Letting the belly drop down towards the mat. Inhaling to the midsection. Inhaling to the chest and in between the shoulder blades, filling up the entire torso. And then let's take a slow exhale from the chest, the rib cage, and then the belly button coming slowly towards the spine. One more time together to really relax here, inhaling to the belly to the midsection, to the chest, and then exhaling through from the chest, midsection, and the belly. And then slowly taking a scan of the body, noticing everywhere from your fingertips down through the hands. Noticing if any parts of the body feel a little bit tense today. How is everything feeling? And don't worry if you're feeling any tension there. Just see if by bringing your attention there, you're able to let go a little bit of this feeling of stress and tightness. And see if you can soften around that area. Scanning all the way from the torso, down the hips, your legs and your knees, your calves, your ankles and your feet. And then as we stay here for one last breath in our child's pose, I'd like you to set an intention for this short time we have on the mat together, but it's going to be short and very sweet. So maybe it could be something connected to the time that you have for yourself, dedicating a little bit more time to rest and relaxation, even with all of the excitement that's happening right now in the world. Checking in with yourself and seeing really how you're feeling, trying not to just get swept away. Whatever it is, taking one last deep breath in through the nose, and then sigh again out the mouth. <sighs> Amazing. Let's stay where we are, lift the head up slightly, and you're gonna loop your right arm underneath your left, coming onto your right shoulder blade and your right ear. 
So we're getting a nice shoulder stretch here on the right side, keeping that left arm out far, feeling the internal stretch in the left arm and the shoulder blade stretch on the right. A gentle twist is happening in the spine and then let your hips sink down to the heels. Inhaling here. And exhale. Let's slowly come back to center and take it to the other side. Left arm goes underneath the right, bringing the left ear onto the mat, holding here, closing off the eyes, and breathing deeply. Inhale. And exhale, allowing those hips to go down towards the heels even more. And then slowly inhale, bring both arms forward again. And just slowly tent your fingers and walk yourself back towards your hips. Don't take it too fast here today. We're going to be really nice and slow and gentle today. And just come to sitting onto the heels. If you'd like to, you can also tuck your toes under for a little toe stretch. Otherwise, stay seated on the heels. And we're going to just bring our arms up overhead and slowly start stretching out one side at a time. So bring the left arm up a little bit higher over to the right and then switch just as if you're trying to grab something here, as if you're climbing up. It's just gently getting into the side body here. Depending on when you're doing this, the side body might be quite tight. It certainly is for me in the morning and after a nice day at the office. So be gentle here, breathing, and then slowly coming back to center. Bring your arms out to shoulder height, and we're just gonna pulse the arms back and forth so we're getting a nice shoulder warm up, opening up the chest. See if while we're doing this, you can bring your belly button towards the spine, which means your spine can grow nice and tall. Breathing here. And then slowly release the arms down by your side. Now we're gonna come into our tabletop position. As always, we like to take a couple cat cows just to warm up the spine. So spread those fingers out nice and wide, really spread them nice into the mat, pushing through the hands and feeling nice and activated in the core. On an inhale, you're gonna drop your belly and open the chest, gaze up. And as you exhale, push the mat away, gaze towards your belly button and feel that beautiful stretch along the back body. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. And exhale, push the mat away, coming into our cat position. One last time, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, pushing the mat away. And now slowly coming back to our neutral tabletop, keep the legs as they are, and we're gonna slowly walk our hands out in front of us, bring the forehead onto the mat and finding yourself into puppy pose. Here you should feel the stretch in the kind of armpit area the inside of the shoulders. If you don't feel much of a stretch here, see if you tend up those fingers again. That activates the stretch a little bit more. And if you're feeling super flexible, you can also come down onto the chin here, the chin and chest. Otherwise, stay onto the forehead. And we'll take two deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. And then slowly see if you can release your forearms down and just kind of snake yourself forward, coming into Sphinx pose. Sphinx pose, we've got our shoulders over our elbows, we've got our hands out in front of us, fingers spread wide again. And then just you're pushing actively your chest forward and gazing forward as well. Pushing those hips into the mat, feeling that nice opening in the front body, a gentle back bend. And then when you're ready, release yourself onto the mat completely. Last little upper body stretch for now. You're going to bring your right arm to a cactus shape at a 90 degree angle, and then slowly push with your left hand and come on to the shoulder by bringing both legs on top of one another. Here again, you're getting a nice internal stretch and the right arm and if you'd like to you can also lift that top leg 
and plant the left foot behind you. Breathe here, inhale. And exhale. It's so important that we stretch into all of these parts of the body, even if they're not as superficial as working your abs or getting into the splits. These things all are combined. Our body is really one piece as a whole. So if you're feeling good in the upper body, you should be feeling better in the spine and on and on and on. Let's switch sides. Coming back onto the belly, other arm into your 90 degree shape. Push yourself up and come on one leg on top of the other. So we're really stretching out the inside of the left arm now. Lift the top leg and plant that foot behind you if you feel comfortable. And take a few breaths here, closing off the eyes. Inhale. And exhale. One last inhale. And then exhale, slowly coming back down onto the belly. Bringing your arms and your hands, sorry, underneath your shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Bring your hips to the heels. And then just push your hips up and back into our first downward facing dog. Now, if you're like me and you've been busy and working out and working, then this should feel quite tight. So let's just take a moment here. Bend one knee at a time. You can shake your head out, yes and no. Whatever feels good for you. If you've been practicing with me for a while or you've just been practicing in general, then you know what feels good in your body when you first get into down dog. Hmm. Breathing deeply and being patient with yourself. Bending the knees as generously as you need to right now. The beautiful thing about practicing at home is we really get to think about ourselves and our body. So that's what I would like to invite you to do here. And then when you're ready, bring the left foot behind the right and bend the right knee. See if you can press that left heel down into the mat and you should feel a beautiful stretch into the left side body. And also I love the stretch in the left outer hip. A place that we don't generally get a stretch into, especially this deep. So breathe deeply here. Maybe you want to look under your left armpit. Say hello to this corner of the room. And then let's switch sides. Feet together and down dog. And now right foot behind left. Bending the left knee and pressing into the right hip. Right heel, sorry. Gazing under the right arm this time. Closing off the eyes if you'd like and just breathing deeply. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Apologies if you can hear a screwing sound. My neighbors somehow are always doing DIY. <laughs> Coming back to our downward facing dog. And let's just take a couple down dogs to high planks here just to get that spine moving. So as we come forward, come up onto the tippy toes. Belly button comes towards the spine. It feels like you're coming into a cat pose, like a tabletop. And then as you come forward, that's when you let the hips drop. And the head come forward, heels kicking to the back of the mat. Bend the knees and push the hips up and back. Down dog. And let's just do this a few more times, but really take it at your own pace. You can go as slow or as fast as you're feeling right now in your body today on the mat. And just make sure you're feeling good as you do it. I like to take these really nice and slowly. That's where you can feel into all of the little tension that you might have in the body, but also all of the parts of the body that feel strong and want to carry you there. However many you've done, just take one more and then we're all going to meet in down dog together. And beautiful, finding yourself in your down dog. Let's just take a moment to let everyone get there. And then slowly, let's lift our right leg up and back, pretty like a dog. And I'd just like you to bend the knee, and this time we're just going to hold it. So see if you can keep your upper body stable so it's not leaning over to the left. Both arms are as they were before. And then see if you can just work that right knee up towards the sky and your right heel towards your glute. This should really get a nice deep stretch in here for you. And if you can, try and drop that left heel down onto the mat. A really beautiful lower body stretch. Breathing deeply here. And then let's slowly bring that foot forward to the outside of the right side of the mat. We're going to come into lizard lunge. Sorry, my ponytail is everywhere today. And let's rock back and forth. If you'd like to, you can also release your knee. 
Otherwise, stay with me up onto the hands with the knee lifted. And just feeling into our hips here. And then slowly, if your knee was lifted, release it down onto the mat. And just bring your right hand on to the left, uh, the right knee, sorry. And we're just going to slowly push the knee open. So be really gentle here. Slowly see how far your hip feels nice. Getting a gentle stretch and then bringing it back in. Just getting some motion into the hip joints here. Breathing deeply. And one more like this. And then slowly bringing the knee out as far as feels comfortable for you and bringing the right hand back, grabbing the back foot. Getting a quad stretch in as well. I love this one. We're getting into the hip flexors, the hips, the quads. Getting a little twist as well. It's pretty much full body stretch. And exhale. And then slowly release the hands down. Tuck under the back toes. Step your left foot forward, coming into a gentle yogi squat. We're just going to stay here and move from side to side, kind of like a frog dance. Getting into the hips. Allowing the lower back to release. And then just come to a static hold yoga squat here. With all of that upper body opening we've done already, see if you can lengthen the spine now that we feel a bit more loose and a bit more open. And see if by doing that you can drop the hips down even more. I love this stretch during the day as well, just to really open up the hips and let the lower back relax a little bit. And then dropping the hands down, what we're going to do is we're going to step the right foot back and then just find yourself into a lizard lunge on this side. And let's take those rocks back and forward, breathing deeply here. And just noticing as always, if one side feels a little bit different than the other, that is totally okay. However, sometimes with this knowledge, what I like to do is just tend to the side that gen generally is a bit more tighter for slightly longer. So if you need to pause the video and just keep going on one side. That's the great thing about online content as well. You can really make shift what you want. Just pause, take a break, pause, add some more time on. It is all for you. And then releasing that knee down. You can top, go on, come onto the top of the right foot. And let's just take our left hand onto our left knee and just start moving the hip out and in. Seeing what feels comfortable for you on this side. Breathing deeply and feeling how nice that stretch in the hip flexor feels on the right side. I really love this, especially after sitting, our hip flexors get so tight. And take one last little open of the hip and then just bring the hip as open as feels comfortable. Bring that left arm back and then grab the back foot. Getting our quad stretch and our hip stretch. Breathing deeply here. And then slowly releasing that foot. What I'd like you to do is walk the left foot over to the right side of the mat and we're going to come into our pigeon pose. There would be no deep stretch without pigeon pose. <laughs> you can tent up the fingers and what I like to do is press into the fingers, lift my hips up, make sure this left foot is flexed and then just slowly slide that leg back here and then that should be you with both hip bones facing to the front of the mat. Once you feel comfortable, you can come down onto your forearms. Or I like to use my hands as a little pillow and just rest my head onto it. And I like to see if with my exhales, you can let your body become really heavy and folding over this left leg. The heavier it gets, the more opening you're getting into your glutes. And that should feel really awesome. Let's take three deep breaths here. Inhale, feeling the length of the spine growing, the belly coming down towards the mat. And as you exhale, that's when you become really heavy and let yourself fold over this leg. Inhaling deeply, seeing if you can really slow down your breath, as if it's almost inaudible. And exhale, maybe sigh out the mouth. And let's do one last deep breath together. 
Tips. We're going to tuck the back toes under and just coming gently back into down dog for a moment. I like to notice in down dog, as you've maybe known from other videos, how that left side feels in comparison to the right because pigeon pose is such a quick healer. It's amazing to see how such a three breaths can actually make such a difference in the feeling. So, with that being said, let's get into the right side, lift the right leg up and back, and then come into pigeon on this side. And again, you can do my little trick here with the fingertips and the lifting of the hips, or just make your way into your own pigeon pose. Coming down onto the forearms, or using your hands as a pillow, and seeing how this feels on this side. And start connecting with the breath. Three deep breaths here. And slowly exhaling, maybe bringing it out the mouth. Inhaling. And exhale. And again, inhale one last time, filling up the lungs, filling up the belly, filling up the midsection of the chest. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. And let's come back up onto the hands, swinging that left foot forward if you can. And let's just finish with one nice forward fold. So take out the fleshy bits from under you so you can get your spine nice and long. Inhale, raise those arms up by the ears. And then exhale, just folding over the legs, however much feels comfortable for you. If you can't get your head close towards the legs, don't worry. Just bring your fingertips down and start energetically with a straight spine bringing yourself over and we'll stay here for two deep breaths inhaling and exhaling seeing if with the exhale you can bring your crown of the head closer towards the toes inhale and exhale And then when you're ready, slowly tuck your chin in towards your chest, roll yourself up to seated and just find yourself into a nice comfortable seat. You can have cross-legged or seated on the heels, whatever feels good for you now. Bringing your hands onto your knees and rolling your shoulders up to the ears and down the back and with a long spine closing the eyes. And just checking in with your body just as we did in the beginning of class. If you had any areas of tension, seeing how they're feeling now. And even more importantly than the body, how's your mind feeling? Seeing if there's a softness around the forehead and the forehead and the eyebrows. Seeing if your cheeks are relaxed and your jaw is relaxed and your mouth is open. If not, see if you can invite that right now. See if your shoulders are dropping away from the ears, your chest is nice and open, your spine is nice and long, and you're feeling relaxed and comfortable in this space. Taking this moment of silence to come back to the intention you'd set at the beginning of class and seeing if you can carry that with you throughout the rest of your day. When you're ready, let's inhale, bring our arms up overhead. And exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. You can bow your chin towards your chest as some gratitude to yourself for showing up today for this class. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope to see you again soon.